Far beyond the familiar reaches of our solar system, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has captured something truly astonishing, lights resembling those from a city shining from a distant point nearly 7 trillion miles away. This extraordinary discovery has ignited a wave of excitement and curiosity, raising profound questions about the possibility of life beyond Earth. The JWST focused its powerful instruments on Proxima Centauri b, the closest known exoplanet to our solar system, and detected unusual bright lights on its surface. These glimmers bear a striking resemblance to city lights on Earth, sparking speculation that they might be signs of an advanced civilization residing there. Scientists and researchers are captivated by this tantalizing hint, as it may be the first clear evidence of intelligent life outside our planet, potentially revealing how extraterrestrial societies organize and illuminate their environments. The discovery highlights the extraordinary capabilities of the James Webb Telescope, which is uniquely equipped to detect infrared wavelengths of light that are crucial for observing celestial phenomena invisible to earlier telescopes. Unlike most rocky planets, Proxima Centauri b behaves differently in terms of how it absorbs and releases energy due to its unusual relationship with its host star, Proxima Centauri. This star's influence creates a complex thermal signature that the JWST has been able to capture in unprecedented detail. By detecting the faint infrared emissions from the planet, the telescope provides critical insights into its atmospheric composition and surface conditions. Scientists aim to continue probing Proxima B's atmosphere to assess whether it harbors the essential ingredients to support life, such as oxygen, water vapor, and methane. One of the remarkable features of JWST is its sensitivity to infrared light, allowing it to observe phenomena even on the night side of distant worlds. This capability enables astronomers to study faint lights that would otherwise be lost in the vast darkness of space. The telescope's advanced sensors can pick up artificial or natural light sources within a very narrow frequency band, far narrower than typical starlight, making it possible to confirm the existence of the so-called city lights on Proxima B's dark side. The planet experiences day and night cycles, similar to Earth's, with intense heat during the day and cooler temperatures at night. These cycles create significant temperature variations, which are valuable clues to understanding the planet's atmosphere or lack thereof. For example, if Proxima b lacks a substantial atmosphere, the temperature difference between its day and night sides would be extreme, causing searing heat on the illuminated side and freezing cold on the dark side. The JWST's unmatched infrared imaging allows for detailed analysis of Proxima b's thermal emissions, shedding light on the planet's atmospheric properties. Interestingly, the telescope's orbit around Earth closely matches the orbital period of Proxima b, which completes one orbit every 11.2 Earth days. This synchronicity provides astronomers with the opportunity to observe the planet's complete day-night cycle repeatedly, facilitating comprehensive studies of its environmental dynamics. Future observations will focus on examining the chemical makeup of Proxima b's atmosphere to determine its habitability. Detecting molecules like oxygen or ozone would indicate a healthy atmosphere, while water vapor and methane could point to biological activity. These findings would mark a pivotal breakthrough in humanity's search for life beyond Earth. While JWST excels in studying water vapor, carbon dioxide, and methane concentrations in exoplanet atmospheres, it has certain limitations, such as detecting bonded oxygen, a key biomarker. Nevertheless, it compensates by searching for other indicators like ozone, which also signals the presence of life-supporting conditions. These atmospheric investigations are essential steps toward answering the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? As JWST continues to push the boundaries of space exploration, it lays the groundwork for future telescopes designed specifically to characterize exoplanet atmospheres with even greater precision. For more detailed studies, astronomers are turning their attention to upcoming ground-based observatories like the Extremely Large Telescope, ELT, scheduled to begin operations in 2028. The ELT promises to provide deeper insights into the atmospheric structures of distant exoplanets, delivering clearer data that will help scientists assess their potential to support life. By combining data from JWST and ELT, researchers hope to build a comprehensive understanding of exoplanet environments, bringing us closer than ever to identifying truly habitable worlds. Moreover, future space telescopes are being designed to overcome one of the biggest challenges in exoplanet observation, the overwhelming brightness of stars. These advanced observatories aim to block or reduce starlight, much like shading your eyes with your hand on a sunny day, allowing a clearer view of the faint light reflecting off orbiting planets. This innovation will greatly enhance our ability to study the chemical compositions of exoplanet atmospheres and detect possible biosignatures indicative of life.
Discerning between gases produced by biological processes and those resulting from natural planetary phenomena, such as volcanic activity, remains a critical and challenging task for scientists. Since the dawn of human curiosity, the question of whether life exists beyond Earth has inspired countless explorations and scientific endeavors. Today, the James Webb Space Telescope stands at the forefront of this quest, surveying distant planets and moons for signs that might confirm the presence of alien life. Many in the scientific community now believe that extraterrestrial life is not just a possibility but an eventual certainty waiting to be uncovered. This search is complemented by initiatives like the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, SETI, launched in 1984 by astronomers Jill Tata and Thomas Pearson. SETI uses radio telescopes, such as the Allen Telescope Array in California, to listen for radio waves from space, signals that can travel vast distances without being absorbed or lost. Although no definitive extraterrestrial radio signals have been detected so far, researchers remain hopeful that advancements in technology will soon lead to groundbreaking discoveries. The excitement surrounding NASA's report of potential city lights on Proxima Centauri b has reinvigorated interest in the search for extraterrestrial life. JWST, positioned a million miles from Earth, continues to provide detailed observations of the universe's earliest structures, while also exploring nearby exoplanets with unparalleled clarity. Its cutting-edge instruments allow astronomers to decode subtle light signatures that reveal the physical and chemical characteristics of distant celestial bodies. By actively investigating the atmospheres of other worlds, JWST not only deepens our understanding of the cosmos but also inspires humanity's collective imagination about what might exist beyond our solar neighborhood. Each new discovery brings us a step closer to answering the profound question of whether we share the universe with other life forms, fueling an ever-growing hope that one day, we will find that we are not alone. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, since its launch, has revolutionized our understanding of the cosmos in ways previously unimaginable. By capturing lights resembling city illumination on Proxima Centauri b, an exoplanet located approximately 7 trillion miles away, JWST has ignited unprecedented excitement and curiosity about the existence of extraterrestrial life. This discovery is particularly extraordinary because Proxima Centauri b is the nearest known exoplanet orbiting within the habitable zone of its star, making it one of the most promising candidates for hosting life beyond our solar system. Unlike Earth, Proxima Centauri b orbits a red dwarf star named Proxima Centauri, which is smaller and cooler than our Sun. This star's variability and intense stellar activity make the environment on Proxima b highly complex and potentially hostile, but also intriguing for astrobiologists. The JWST's advanced infrared sensors have detected unusual thermal emissions and bright lights on this distant world, which many scientists believe could be artificial in origin. The resemblance of these lights to Earth city lights has led to speculation that an intelligent civilization might exist there, illuminating their habitats in a manner similar to ours. The ability of JWST to detect such faint light at enormous distances is a testament to its sophisticated design. Traditional space telescopes often struggle to observe subtle emissions against the overwhelming glare of their host stars. However, JWST's infrared capabilities allow it to penetrate dust clouds and detect the thermal signatures of planets even on their dark sides. This is crucial for planets like Proxima b, which experience dramatic temperature fluctuations due to their close orbit around their star and possible tidal locking, where one side perpetually faces the star while the other remains in darkness. Understanding Proxima b's atmosphere is critical to interpreting these observations. If the planet has a thick atmosphere with greenhouse gases, it might distribute heat more evenly between the day and night sides, allowing for more stable conditions that could support life. Conversely, without an atmosphere, the night side could plunge to extreme cold, while the day side experiences intense heat, making life as we know it unlikely. JWST's ability to measure infrared emissions provides insight into these atmospheric conditions, revealing clues about the planet's potential habitability. The orbit of JWST around the Earth complements its mission perfectly. It shares an orbital period similar to Proxima b's 11.2 Earth day cycle, which enables astronomers to observe full day-night cycles on the planet, enhancing their ability to monitor temporal changes and detect potential life indicators. By studying how the brightness and spectral characteristics of the planet vary over time, scientists can deduce the presence of clouds, surface features, or even artificial structures. This discovery builds on decades of human curiosity and scientific effort aimed at answering the fundamental question. Are we alone? The search for extraterrestrial intelligence has evolved from simple radio signal monitoring to complex, multi-wavelength studies of exoplanets' atmospheres and surfaces. Initiatives such as the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, SETI, 
started by astronomers Jill Tata and Thomas Pearson in 1984, have pioneered this quest by deploying arrays of radio telescopes dedicated to scanning the cosmos for artificial signals. Although no definitive signs of alien communication have yet been found, the methods and technology continue to improve, increasingly blending with observational astronomy to identify biosignatures and technosignatures. JWST's observation of Proxima Centauri BS Sitter-like lights may represent one of the first technosignatures, indicators of technology used by an alien civilization. Technosignatures can include anything from artificial light to industrial pollutants or even large-scale structures orbiting stars. Detecting these requires not just powerful telescopes but also sophisticated analytical tools to differentiate natural phenomena from those potentially created by intelligent beings. Future telescopes will build on JWST's pioneering work. The extremely large telescope, ELT, under construction in Chile and expected to begin operations around 2028, will vastly expand our capability to study exoplanets' atmospheres in detail. Its immense primary